This video is brought to you by GearBest. Hello and welcome back to Simple Tech Reviews. Today we are bringing you one of the new iterations and the evolution of the Android rearview mirror DVR. This is a review of the Johnson A900. The A900 is an Android rearview mirror dash cam with a full 10 inch touchscreen. It comes with two cameras to record and show the front and back of your vehicle, has GPS for street navigation, it can connect by Wi-Fi and 3G mobile networks to stay online and provide remote monitoring, and has many other features. Let's start with a quick unboxing. First, we see the A900 rear view mirror. Note that this version has an extendable camera that can help in fitting it over larger mirrors. We then have the reverse camera and camera cable. Then there's the mini USB ladder power adapter, the GPS antenna, the rubber mounting straps, a spare mini USB cable, and the detailed user manual. Having a closer look, on the front we have the 10 inch touchscreen with a resolution of 1600 by 400. On the back we can see the speaker, the extendable adjustable 150 degree 1080p front facing camera, the reset pinhole, and ventilation grills. On top there's the USB power port, the rear camera input, the 3G micro SIM card slot, the micro SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes and the GPS antenna port. And on the bottom, the single power button and the microphone. The mirror comes with Android 5.0. It uses a MediaTek MT8382 quad core processor, has one gigabyte of memory and 16 gigabytes of internal system storage to install applications, music or videos. To install the mirror, first place it on top of your vehicle's stock mirror and secure it with the included elastic bands. Insert your micro SD card and 3G SIM card. Connect the GPS antenna and route it through the headliner to your preferred location. Do the same with the rear camera cable and route it all the way to the back of the vehicle and install the camera either inside or outside the vehicle since it is weatherproof. At this point, you may want to consider connecting the camera's red wire to your reverse bulb if you'd like to use the automatic backup view feature. Finally, connect the USB power cable, route it and connect it to your lighter socket so that the mirror starts recording when you turn the ignition on. Looking now at the mirror's interface, we can see that the stock launcher comes with three pages where you can access the different functions. On the left side, we have the home and back buttons as well as the date. Following that, there's the fixed image where you can see the speed you're traveling at. Again, note that the speed here can only be shown in kilometers per hour. Next, we see the DVR icon. Here, you can press the play or stop buttons to quickly start or stop the video recording. Tapping the icon will take you into the main DVR interface. Here, you can view the front or back cameras individually or you can see both on a split window side by side. You can also take photos and enter into the DVR settings where you can set the video recording interval between one, two or three minutes, set the front camera's resolution, note that the back camera is fixed to 480p and cannot be changed. You can mute the microphone, show the GPS watermark and activate the float button. The float button will enable a small overlay window that you can place anywhere on the screen and you can use it to view the front or back cameras at all times without having to go into the DVR. Next on the menu we see the music icon. Here you can play any music you may have recorded onto the mirror's memory or the SD card and play it directly from the mirror or through your car's speakers. Next is the navigation button. The mirror already comes with Navitel and Waze pre-installed for your convenience, but you may also install any preferred navigation app from the Play Store. Turning to the next page, we see the Wi-Fi icon. 
Here, you can see any available Wi-Fi networks that you can connect to keep the mirror online for multimedia, navigation, or monitoring purposes. Next is the FM icon. Here, you can activate the FM transmitter. Simply choose any FM frequency on the mirror and tune into that station on your car stereo to play all sounds and hear calls directly from your car's speakers. Next is the Bluetooth icon. Here, you can pair your phone in order to play music, sync your contacts and make phone calls and listen to them on your vehicle speakers. And on the last page, we see the Car Assistant app, which we will discuss in a moment. The video icon, which you can use to play back any of the DVR's video recordings on the spot in case you need to show evidence. And finally, there's the application icon. With the application icon, you can see and open all the apps you have installed in the mirror, as well as going into the Google Play Store to download more applications. And on the far right, we can see the icons for the satellite lock indicator, the battery charge level, Wi-Fi and 3G signals, and last, you will see the current time and day, which can be read out loud by tapping it. Now, let's have a look at the Car Assist. This is where you can pair the mirror with the Car Assistant app on your mobile phone. To get the app, you can scan the code shown on the mirror or go to your app store and download it. Here you can also access some additional settings such as volume and brightness, the 3G mobile network, enable a wireless hotspot to share your 3G data, and enter the Wi-Fi and DVR settings. In the other tab, you can see settings such as the auto sleep function, the parking monitor, the G sensor sensitivity, reset to factory settings, and go into the full Android settings. And in the storage tab, you can see how much space you have in the SD card or the internal storage and format the SD card. Going back to the Car Assist app, after installing it, you will need to log in with a Facebook account to take advantage of all the available features, but you can also log in as a guest. Once the mirror is paired, if it is connected to a Wi-Fi network, you can immediately see a live video preview of the front and back cameras by pressing the play button. You can press the video capture button to record a short 10 second video of both cameras that will be stored on your phone. Clicking on the DVR file button will allow you to instantly check all the video recordings in the mirror's SD card without having to unmount anything. This is great if you need to show video evidence on the spot. Under DVR settings, you can change all the mirror's DVR parameters quickly and wirelessly from your phone. Clicking on the bottom at Monitor will show you the last registered location of your vehicle on a map. And if you have inserted a 3G data enabled SIM card, you can click the photo capture and video capture to take a snapshot or short video of what is happening around your vehicle at the moment and preview them in a few seconds. You can also click the live preview button to see a live feed with sound of the vehicle's front and back cameras. And you can use the talk button as an intercom to talk with anyone that may be in your vehicle. Here you can also see any alarm messages that were pushed from the mirror. You will be notified whenever the mirror registers an impact or whenever the vehicle is turned on. These are great features to keep an eye out on your car in real time. And under the me section you can pair or unpair the mirror. See the GPS tracking history which will show you on a map when and where your vehicle was driven as well as the speed it was traveling at, which will be great for monitoring a fleet or a borrowed vehicle. In conclusion, the Johnson A900 is a nice upgrade from the previous 880 model, especially with its full 10-inch screen. The addition of the extendable camera is great as it will allow for easier installation in vehicles with large mirrors. The quad-core processor allows for a smooth Android experience when running and installing apps, and the Car Assist app makes a comeback with all its monitoring and security features that we've seen and tested to work well before. If you'd like to check out the Johnson A900, don't forget to click the link below. 
Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please consider subscribing and sharing. Up next are the video sample clips for your evaluation. I'll see you on the next review.